So today is Canley Pop Up and Big Lunch and Armed Forces Day celebration. We're here down at Canley Community Centre. There's a local neighbourhood police team, there are um, Westwood Community Heroes, there are um, lots of local people and active citizens. We're really enjoying spending some time together and um, this is really the culmination of about 10 pop-up cafes we've had where lots of locals have uh, got into the habit of coming down enjoying some time together and um, just getting to know each other really so i look forward to seeing lots of people today and having some fun today together so what we do at community heroes is we help the community in like fundraising events and events around the canley area so we do like the pop-up calf we help with the big lunch and the armed forces day and we also uh, take part in activities like the climbing wall, speed, football and we do a range of activities for ourselves as well. So that's what uh, the community heroes do around Canley and Coventry. I'm Jemima from the Coventry Recycling Club and we're here at the Canley Pop-Up Cafe to talk about recycling and using your bins correctly. Yeah, we're Royal British Legion number four branch. We meet once a month, Satan Tuesday in every month. And we're a nice little crowd, you know. And what we're doing today, we're doing a bit of fundraising and uh, recruiting. There's a recruiting officer. Clive, you come say something, OK? We're here just to help out with the Canley community. And um, we're work volunteers and it's pretty exciting stuff to be here. One. One. Two. Oh, this way. Oh, I got you as a snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so basically um, what we've got, we've got the whole Matro equipment here, uh, we've got some spreaders, we've got some cutters, uh, we're from the local fire station at Canley um, and that's the local centre for us for RTC training, so a lot of the stations come to us uh, and we're here to enjoy the Canley Community Day. Cafes. There was Noah's idea to uh, put in for the funding, well, we and great the yes, I oh know. Yes, I oh know. We will. <laughs> yeah, no. Children in here, but the majority of it's over the park. They're having lots of fun. We're using painting in here at the moment. Um, Anything in the rain hole? It's got a bit colder <coughs> in here, but we've got the surface skills out as well. Most people are outside because we've got the climbing wall and the and the tight wall and all the food out there. But if it did rain, we've got the facility to put it out dry. Yeah, yeah. 
heading to the snowball. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 So, you know, by the food cloud, so all the waste food now comes as this could be a lot of food. Yeah. Take your order. Take Thanks your a lot. Yeah. 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 See you later, Bob. Yeah. 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 The Lord Mayor has come to join us today for the Canley Community Event. As we told you earlier, the entertainment has been hosted by Vanny Radio. So, you'd like to all come over to the store and welcome the prayer, uh, the, <laughs> welcome the Lord Mayor here today. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, good morning. morning. Thanks very much for inviting me here today. It's a great pleasure to, to, to be to be here with you. For the, it's a big lunch, isn't it? Big lunch, and and also to celebrate Armed Forces Day, which is um, two 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 good occasions. Um, it looks like a wonderful event, an opportunity for the community to bring come together, members of the community to come together and, and have a have some fun, but also to enjoy themselves. Um, you got to just to think that there's some great stalls apparently. You got, I haven't had a chance to to wander around yet, but I certainly will do in a few minutes. Have a look around and and check out the stalls and and speak to people. Yeah, a number. Thank you, really. The first thank you, really, is for the county stakeholders group. Are they are they around? Can I see any stakeholders group members? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for um, for your efforts for organising the day, also for the Warwick Volunteers and the Candley Library staff. For Warwick, Warwick, Warwick Volunteers, are they about? Yep. And the library staff? Yep, the library staff. Um, as you can see, the beautiful surroundings, friends of um, Candley Green Spaces deserve a very big thank you for the many hours that, that, that they've spent as volunteers and for their hard work. Um, in Coventry, yes, it's some, some wonderful ground staff looking after the, the, the parks and, and the open spaces in the city. Um, but we're very lucky to have so many volunteers who come forward to, to protect our parks and to keep them as a heart of the communities and, and provide space for, for community activities. Um, the Friends are an inv in, invaluable part of their um, network. Today is a day to celebrate the local community, uh, but also the, the, the wider city and the diversity that makes Coventry such a wonderful place to live. Um, my general line and the line I took when I became Lord Mayor was that Coventry, what's special about Coventry, what's different about Coventry, and Coventry, three things, it's Numpen City, yeah, people come to Coventry, it's a diverse city, city and also it's a very, very creative city, people who come here and they're creative. Um, um, so it's a home to many communities, all with their own history, all with their own culture, and all with their own traditions. Um, and these are crucial ingredients that make the life of Coventry as it is today, make Coventry what it is today. And it, it's, it, it's a wonderful city, no doubt about it at all, it's a one, truly wonderful city. We've gained so much from these people and, and um, the groups here today. And I think the diversity of Coventry is one of the reasons we, we, we stand a good chance of becoming City of Culture for 2021. Yeah? We've got a bid in, and I hope you're going to get behind the, the, the Coventry bid. Yeah? The, the shortlisting results for it come out in the middle of, well, the middle of this month now, because it's July already, isn't it? They were due out at the end of June, but they could have come out in the middle of July. And I, I, Coventry's got to be shortlisted. They're shortlisted for, and Coventry's got to be amongst them. And I say it, I think it's the diversity of the Coventry population and the you know the coming together of community groups and different traditions that really makes the city so special. Um, today is also a chance to celebrate our armed forces. Today, I had a, an event in Broadgate last weekend. Um, received the six six o five squadron, and, and we celebrated the armed forces day today.
these are the brave men and women who dedicate their lives um, to keeping us safe, to be quite honest. And it's, it's an important task. Um, as you know, the, the Army, the Royal Navy, the Royal Air Force promote and protect peace in some of the world's most troubled areas. And closer to home, they also protect our country from terror th threats and prevent terrible actions of a few that ruin the society and the community in which we, which we live. Um, they also do much, so much for us, and it's a right to set aside a day when we thank, we thank them and we think of their sacrifices and we let them know how grateful we are to them. So, so the regiment down there, I salute you. Um, thank you once again for inviting me here today and to everyone who's making this, this fantastic event possible. I hope that you all enjoy the day and to continue to keep this part part of the, the heart of the candy community. It's a, it's a splendid, splendid event. This is, I've seen this develop over the years, I've got to be honest with you. And this is, this is a, splendid, a splendid event. So thanks very much for inviting me here today. I hope you all have a good time. I'm going to walk around in a bit and, and see some of the stalls and hopefully meet you and, and get introduced to you. But thanks, big thanks for everyone involved and, and all the best wishes and good luck. You want to know what happens down the community centre? Well, during the week in the evenings, we've got on a Monday karate and yoga. Um, a Tuesday night from September, we'll be having um, a Tuesday fun club, which we're going to invite all the local children to, um, which will entail doing cra arts, crafts, a um, few sporty events, and just generally playing games and having fun. Um, and on Wednesday, we have... Um, uh, a gentleman that comes and does Kung Fu. Thursday night we've got brownies. Friday night we run a club called Kids Club, which is for the local community. Uh, loads of children come to that. And then we open up at weekends for private events and family parties and things like that. And then we've got a church group that uses the centre. So basically the centre's used all week round. Um, we're hoping to open it up a few more times um, in the day. Um, Obviously, at the moment, it isn't used that much during the daytime, but we're hoping that will like up, up, be up and coming. But because uh, the community centre has just been taken over, so it's now a, a charity, um, so we can get some more funding for things. But there's lots of things going on around here. We like to involve all the community. We're looking for volunteers. If anybody, if there's anybody that's around that wants to volunteer. Um, to do big gardening and stuff like that because we need to keep on top of the garden. We've just had that done and we're going to we hopefully get a grant to have that really done nicely so that will be something that we can use. Uh, and we're also looking at opening up a youth club anytime soon. That's in the pipeline too. So there's lots of things always going on down here. Pop-up cafes has been very uh, useful because we get people in the doors, which helps. A lot of people didn't know the community centre was open uh, with it not being open during the day, but it's helped having the pop-up cafes. Real, could this be love? This man is a blessing from way up above. But then comes the letdowns along with the lies. You find yourself sitting with tears in your eyes. How can someone so genuine turn out so fake? What is the point that he is trying to make? With all of your deceit and your disrespect, you think you're a man, you're not even grown yet. Do you have no morals or ambitions you set? Just plenty self-pity and pants with a debt. We had a lovely time today with Lot Mayer coming and touring around uh, and meeting people. And we have a Tesco Cannon Park doing a healthy eating, sharing melon with everyone. And we have Aurora birthday cake. Mm. It's, it's also today we uh, celebrate Eidul uh, Fitri which means that the end of Ramadan for the Muslim. And it, we had it, the, the aid was last week on the, uh, Sunday. So, so we still got, you know, uh, a celebration to do. Um, we have about more than 300 people uh, attending at, from all over across the city, from Fozil, from um, Hostel Common, Ulston, and also from the Warwick University residential campus, which is great. And uh, I wish to thank everyone. Hope, have, have a good time and hope to see you again next year.